It was one month ago that a SWAT team converged on a Gardner family home after a bogus 911 call. Police were investigating it as a possible swatting call. New tonight, KCTV5's Rudy Harper found out an arrest was made in the case, and he joins us now from Overland Park with reaction. Rudy? And the suspect was arrested in another country, Brad. Gamers here at SoPro know online gaming can present real dangers. A concerned parent we spoke with says a neighbor was also the victim of swatting. It's one of the reasons she restricts her children's online activities. Parker, where are you? On special occasions, Cordy Mayorga takes her two boys oh, to are. SoPro Gaming. Are you guys on the same team? The social video game center she says allows for another layer of security that she can't get at home. It's just really scary to think they could make friends with somebody online and that person could be out to hurt them. Gardner, Kansas father Jeff Wilbert and his family know the dangers of online gaming firsthand. They were victims of swatting, also known as a bogus 911 call. A SWAT team swarmed their home a month ago. They were not there. It happened two more times. Wilbert told me it turns your world upside down, worrying about when or if it will happen again. Police got a break in the case. A teen was arrested and charged more than 1,500 miles away in Canada. People don't realize the amount of information they give out. Ian Johnson works at SoPro Gaming, and the 20-year-old college student spends about eight hours a day doing what he calls escaping reality. You just need to be very careful and uh, play with the cards close to your chest. They're impressionable and they could either be convinced to do that too or um, get involved in a situation like that. Gardner police are confident justice will be served by Canadian authorities. We reached out to Canadian authorities today and we have not heard back. Live in Overland Park, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Rudy. Breaking